welcome back. My name is Jim Caseman, and uh, we're talking about how to get to know God intimately. We left off in our last session talking about how man had the nature, had, 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 well, like it said in Ephesians 2, 1, and you, you who made it alive who were dead in trespasses and sins, for which we once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. We our, we uh, couldn't redeem ourselves. We had the nature of sin. We were sinners, and we were slaves to sin. We were slaves to the devil. And we said there's only two families, the children of the devil, the children of God. Well, we were, we were part of Satan's family. We were children of the devil. We didn't know God. We weren't born again. We had Satan's nature. And we were, like I said, slaves to sin. We couldn't save ourselves. Had, and and had, when our bodies would take their last breath physically, then we would just automatically go to hell and spend eternity there. Because the penalty for sin is spiritual death, separation from God, and ultimately hell and the lake of fire for eternity. That's the penalty for sin. Sin is a terrible thing. And uh, it's, steal, it's, it's designed to steal, kill, and destroy. And Satan, of course, is the head of all of that. All right. So then, why would God take on the form of a human being literally in every respect? You know, that, that, that is just amazing. Like I left off saying last time, he has it made. Why would he take a chance of becoming a man, literally a man, and that he'd have to, by faith, just let he, believe that he would not yield to any temptations and sin? Because if he did, then God, who is holy and sinless, would become unholy, and everything would fall apart. There'd be no more heaven or nothing. It would all be the devils for eternity. And he had to do it by faith. He couldn't do it as God because he didn't sin. Man was the one that sinned. Man was the one that had to go to hell and suffer the penalty of sin. So you talk about the love of God. You know, there are people that say, well, how, how, how could God create a devil and, you know, all this sort of stuff? Well, he created angels, and they all were holy, innumerable angels, until pride, the sin of pride, entered Satan's heart. And then he decided that he wanted the throne, and, and then there was, uh, um, God had a challenge. <laughs> and of course, Satan then was uh, was um, separated from God. He uh, he sinned. The pride of you know pride, self looking. At, you know he I can be God. I want to receive all this worship. Why do I have to bring it to God and all of that? And of course that's where we find then that there was really a, a, a split in heaven. Satan then became the prince of a nation. He had innumerable servants probably had one-third of the heaven, which is huge. I mean, um, heaven is huge, the second heaven. That embraces what we see in the natural realm is the universe. And so there is within that universe, that universe is within the second heaven. And, and they tell us just in the natural realm that you can only see 34 billion light years out. That's the speed of light. And, and, that, and that travels in a year, the spirit of light that travels in a year. And, uh, and of course, I, I just made a note here one time, and light travels at, at the speed of 186,000 miles a second. So the, a light year then, the distance a, a light can travel in a year is five point. 8888, in other words, almost 6 trillion miles in a year. Almost 6 trillion, T, like tango, trillion miles a year. Light travels. And with the Hubble scope and everything, we can see out there, we can see 34 billion light years out there. B like Bravo, billion, not million, billion. And like I said, when I first got saved in the 70s, you know, they said, well, 
the universe is still expanding. No, 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 it's not expanding. We can, we've only been able to see 34 billion light years out. That's as far as we can see at this point. So, and that's six trillion miles a year. So if you can, that's 34 billion light years. At six trillion miles a year, that's huge. And it seems like, you know, with the three angels, the three archangels, it must have been, the territory must have been divided into three parts and they were responsible to oversee God's creation, uh, um, all of these angels. And so then, of course, that's when the problem began. So then the question was, why would God, you know, I mean, he created us and then there'd be a devil. Well, he gave the angels a free will. God has a free will. And in his sovereignty, when he created the angels, he gave them a free will. They had the, if they wanted to rebel against God, they could do it. He gave all, every human spirit, Adam and Eve, all of us, we have a free will. We can turn against God if we want to and go to hell if we want to. God in his sovereignty, that's the way he wanted it. And so he's, he, he is, then of course, now we've got a third of the angels who've rebelled against God. And of course, they're destined, they're, they will spend eternity separated from God, ultimately in the lake of fire, when it all is over with by the end of the millennial reign. But then here, God created the devil, okay. But now look what God has done. He could have just, he, he told Adam, if you sin, you'll die. He could have left it right there and uh, not done anything. He didn't sin. He, he says, well, I warned him. And they made a choice to rebel against me, so that's that. I'll just wash my hands. But God didn't do that. God is love. And in his love, he was willing to take a chance as a man, when he took on the form of a man, he was willing to take a chance to lose everything and he would cease being God if he blew it, if he sinned. Now, he was willing to take that chance for mankind. Now, why would we not want to love him and obey him when he was willing to do that for us so we wouldn't have to spend eternity in the lake of fire? He created them all right, but then through his plan of redemption, not only did he redeem mankind, but he was able to destroy Satan, as we already had talked about. And now, you know, ultimately at the end of the millennial reign, Satan and the fallen angels will be in the lake of fire for eternity, and all the human beings who, who have rebelled against God, and I don't know, if Jesus had not said it, I wouldn't believe it. As a matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and read it to you. And it comes here right out of Matthew chapter 7. And as Jesus speaking, as we come right down here to verse 13, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. In other words, the majority of human spirits, billions of them that have been on this earth right now, there's almost 8 billion right now, the majority of them are going to spend eternity separated from God because they've exercised their free will and decided, I don't want nothing to do with God. Or I don't believe in God and all that sort of stuff. Now that's pretty sobering. But when it's all over with then, those humans who've rebelled against God and the angels who've rebelled against God, they're separated eternity from God in the lake of fire. And then there'll be a brand new heaven. The earth will be consumed in fire and all trace of sin will be, will be gone according to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 10 through 13. And, and um, then there'll be a brand new heaven and a brand new earth, no devil, no sin, or anything. And that's only a little over a thousand years away. Praise the Lord. Wow. God so loved the world. God so loved mankind that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And of course, Jesus is God. And uh, so, I tell you, you talk about good news. The gospel is good news. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, you be blessed. Our time is up. 
We'll see you again next session. Meanwhile, God bless you.